Every now and then you'll get a hunt with a touch of magic. Our trip up the motu was no exception. So come join us as we go hunting Aotearoa with a guy by the name of Milton Keddy, few of us cobbers, up the Motu River. up the mighty Motu River, a few of the local savages, we're about to set up on a, a funny sort of hunt. I left here with Milton, got a boat, Warwick, left. left. All right, tell us about, a bit about what we're going to do today. Oh, well, we, apart from getting wet, um, we're going to, we're going to hopefully, we're going to come up the river and, um, we're going to look for some deer sign on the riverbed, and as soon as we hit some deer, deer sign, we're going to we're going to uh, let the dogs off, and um, and if they don't go straight away, we'll Warwick will take them up the hill a bit. I'll and the sons of Warwick going up the hill. Yeah, because these are the youngest, and <laughs> we'll be in radio contact with them, and um, when we know that the dogs are gone, and uh, they'll be if they're away for more than three or four minutes, we'll all know that they're they're on a deer. And uh, we'll split up on the riverbed and uh, wait for it to come out. The and dogs chase them down to the river. Yep, yeah, they'll chase them out and they won't. And it'll probably be between five minutes and three quarters of an hour before they come out. I like the sounds of that yeah, because yeah. I don't like the looks of these hills. Yeah, no, no, we're not going to be climbing. That's the way um, we yeah. asked Warwick to come along. Warwick again, doing that. Yeah, for the local knowledge. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, any luck, we'll um, <coughs> we'll get one out. Um, I see on the way up. There's a bit of sign, so you know, look, all looks good for a good hunt. Yeah. How long have you been uh, hunting this river and hunting that, that um, way? Chasing deer with the dogs, I've been doing it since, uh, well, you know, 20 odd years. Yeah, it's just um, a lot of people will, a um, lot, lot of other pig hunters um, will despise um, guys that chase deer with dogs because it's not, it's not what you want because, um, you know, they spend all day looking, after, looking for them. But in the right conditions, so the, it's, it's, it's a good way of getting deer. Um, but um, yeah, you know, and it's just another way of hunting, really. You know, you can, uh, like I said, five minutes to three quarters of an hour, and you've got a deer. Uh, some people can fly, fly in the bush and spend three or four days in the bush and get nothing. You see the lazy boy and the old uh, DVD set up in the old uh, boat. <laughs> That's all we yeah. do, we wait for the deer to come down. Yeah, that's all. We just sit there and wait <coughs> and then uh, and when it comes out we'll um, hopefully shoot it. <coughs> but you Cus, how are you liking this life over here? The mighty fun of afternoon. Yeah, well, it's all interesting now, you know. We've sort of got it all around us really and uh, so it's just a matter of taking advantage of, of what's around us and I think it's, it's good for us, it's healthy. I see it's good for our young people and stuff. Yeah. What about you Nev? From the local uh, tourist operator. The local tourist operator. Oh, it's just a big, big Yahoo, really. Eh? <laughs> big jet boat. Uh, put the tourists in, pay for the day out, and you have fun. Best office in the world, eh? Oh, mate, can't beat it, eh? If your dog gets a bit of a, a whiff or something like that, or, or Milt decides that um, the dogs need to go over a ridge, then um, that's me. I've got to um, strip off and start doing the big climb. But, um, it's all good, because uh, any luck, you know, I might get something that might run past me at the same time as well. So what's our plan then, bro? Well, we're going to uh, we'll wander out to the boats, hop in, and um, I see a bit of sign 
just down the river further. We'll go down and uh, where I can take the dogs in and um, we'll get ready. Same. And um, hopefully everybody's on red alert. Te tika atu a Milton Rawa ko Warwick ki ngā tohu tia i ki te ai raua i te taho a te awa i ngā kua nei. Ka rongo ngā kuri i te kākaro te tia. Ka atahi, ka whaia i Warwick me ngā kuri ki a heke mai te tia, mai i te ngahere ki te awa. He oi anō, kei runga ake mātau i te awa e tātari ana ki a heke mai te tia. Ka atahi, ka timata te whakangau tia. Ka mau te wehi. E mōhi o whānui tia nei ngā kai whakangau, he mea nui te taka mai o te Waimārie ki runga i a rātou. E ngari, ki hai te Waimārie i taka mai ki a mātou i rero kē, ki te tia, i te kore matā, i roto i te pū. He oi anō, ka haere tonu ki te whakangau, ki runga i te awa o motu. Ko wai ka mōhio, he ha kei tērā taha o te awa. Kua neke atu i te rua te koutou a Milton, e rapu tia ana i te awa o motu me tana tino mōhio ki tēnei pito whenua. Ki hai i roha, kā rongo anō ngā kuri ki tētahi kākara. Hea mea nui anō te wāia i roto i tangahere. Kia whai wāhi ai ngā kai whakangau ki ta whakawhiti kōrero tētahi ki tētahi. I'll give him a call, sir. I'll call, eh? Warwick. Warwick, can you hear us? What's happening, mate? Try to find my own lappy. Say that again? Try to find my own lappy. What do you say? Trying to find his way up there. Oh yeah, how long the dog's been gone? We've gone about two minutes. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, any deer sign? You know, there's a little bit up there, man. The dog's one is gone. Oh, okay. What about those other dogs? Yeah, no, two of them are gone and I've got a couple back here. Yeah, alright, okay. Well, give us a call. Just give us a call if um, if you hear you hear them or uh, if you think they're onto a deer, eh? Okay, mate, we're now. Okay, you just come back to the boat. Say that again. They're definitely gone on something. Tell the boys to be ready. Yeah, okay then. 
Ka hoki mai anō mātou ki te awa o motu ki te whai i a Milton, rawa ko Warwick e rapu tiana i muri mai ko ngā kōrero onamata. I hangaia ngā mahanga i ngā ngaku rau o te tīkauk, te ingoa he rauhuka, tino kaha ake, tino mōrau ake te ngaku i tā te rau o taharakeke. Tēnei momo hanga i mahanga, he rāpiko, ki wetahi atu, he tāpiko, he kopiko rānei. Ka waiho o tārewana te ngaku ki a kainga e te auahi. Mā tēnei, ka kahāke, ka pakeke ake hoki te āhua. Te rākau, ka i rei o te māhanga e mauana, i whakaingo tia he taumatua, ko te miro me te kahikatea, ngā taumatua tino rangonui. Te nui ngā o ngā māhanga nei, ka whakatakotoria a ka waihuatia ngā tāngā ta whakangau. A muri ake, ka hairatu rātou ki te titiro, mehe mea kua mau he manu. Ka whakamau a ngā māhanga ki tētahi aho, a ka whakatakotohia ki a tata te pin. Ka haria ngā māhanga nei ki wetahi wāhi tō tika, a ka herea ki ngā pito whakawaho o ngā peka kai te tihi o te rākau. Ngā māhanga i herea ki taho matua, ka whakamāro tia ki wānganui ngā peka ki ngā rākau rāne. I whakaherea ki a takoto pae. I whakaritea ki a noho ngā manu i te taha o ngā māhanga. Ka herea ngā tūhunga ki a noho whakarara hai hopu i ngā manu ne. Ka totoro i o rātou ka ki ki a kai ngā hua. I reira ka mau i roto i te māhanga. I te kōnu tango wā rātou ka ki, ka kaha ake te hopu o te kōnu. Ko wetahi o ngā māhanga, ka i reira te tangata whakangau e hunana me tanaho. Hei kita te māhanga a te wātika ki hopungia te manu. Ka patua te māhunga ki a mati, a ka tukua ki a makere ki a rātou kai raro. Ka kohi kohi i ngā huru huru katoa te manu. Te tikanga, kia kore a tāne mahuta e liri mai. Te tahi whakāro anō, kai mataku ngā manu a kāre rātou e hoki mai ki tēnei rohi. A kwa mutu wa tātou kōrō mo te pō nei noho ora mai rai o koutou kāinga. Yeah, got your work. Those are all mates that just gone past here. They're hauling one down now. Did you see the deer? Yeah, okay, mate. We're ready. My mate here is all, all soaked up. He won't miss. Did I hear a shot? Did I hear a shot? And I heard you said it's coming our way. What does that mean? Oh, just get ready. It's coming. Okay, bro. Come on, bro. Ko tēnei te whakāhua o te ngāhere i a mātou e tātari ana mo te takanga o te tia. Ana, kua taka te tia. Oh, 
Nice bro. Well done, man. <laughs> Why don't run towards us first and then turn around and bolt it this way? Got on the river and I'll go how we saw it in the middle of the river again. There it is! <laughs> so what are we going to do now? You um, going to be the surgeon? First thing you do is, like, like, as soon as you shoot a deer, get your knife, and hit it, put it in here, and just go like that. And what it'll do is it'll drain all the blood out that's in there. Okay, when you tip it upside down. And then when you gut it, put a couple little holes in here. You better hang them up later. And when you gut it, you just put your two front legs in like that, your two legs in between its back legs, and where the tits are of the deer, you just get your knife, go like that, straight in like that, run your hand up. <laughs> and that's it. Can you do that again a bit slower? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of guys like to, um, when they get a deer, take his bum out. And what it does is once you take his bum out, it exposes it to all the dirt in that. So I don't, I don't do that. And um, if you don't take his bum out, don't try and cut through there, because then again, you're, uh, you're, you're dirty its meat. And leave it, just leave it as it is. It'll last hanging up a couple of days with its with his bum in, and just as long as you've got that hole on the throat, you'll be, you'll be good as. I'll take his hook off. Mate, we missed one this morning, but this one never got away. No. That's, that's the funny thing about hunting, you always forget about your missus. Hey. Missus. I only remember the hits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, all good and ready to go. What are we going to do now? Oh well, we'll, we'll throw it on the jet boat, and we'll go down to the take it back down to the trucks, and we'll skin it. And um, a photoki style, a photoki style. I muri mai o ngā fakatairanga ka aku tā te ki te tihore i te kiri o te tia. E ai ki te whakatauki, he maha ngā tikanga e pāana ki te tihore i te kiri o te ngeru. E ngari, mo te tihore i te kiri o te tia, ko tahi noiho te tikanga ki tā te iwi kāinga nei. Skin a deer, pretty easy. All we're going to do is skin around the ears, fold it back, skin around the front legs just a little bit, down the centre, through the back legs just like a possum. Start off here with the head, leave the ears on, you need to leave the ears on, hold it like that, of course, take his throat out, we don't need to eat that, just skin around these front, just the, you only got to skin around the front legs, Helpful having that little bit of marrow in you. You always seem to find that little shortcut. Shortcut, eh? How often do you get a hunt in there? Oh, I, 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 I get out once a week. Cut through the back legs, 
All you do is just do one cut. Up through there. Take it down. Okay, up right. she goes. Keep it going. Yep. All right. Take on the hold, boy. What we do now is hook the top of the ears and the skin on and is it good around flick it around a couple of times so it doesn't pull off like so we hook it onto our, our trailer okay that's it take it away keep it going boy keep it going Go. And uh, that's how you skin a deer, Opo style. <laughs> it's the first time I've seen the deer get a toe before there, bro. Awesome, mate. Awesome. <laughs> well, a man's a legend. A legend. Yeah, yeah that's about it. <laughs> yeah. He has a huge reputation. <laughs> so all you need to hunt in the motu is a fast jet boat. No, someone, uh, someone fit to climb up the, uh, yeah. up the sides to chase yeah. the, pig, uh, the pigs and the deer down. Yeah, that's where work comes into it, mate. And someone with a good eye. Yeah, that's and, that, and, that's, and that's where you come into it, Howard. I, awesome. I, I'm going to put my hands up. That shot I saw today, um, I don't, I don't want to. I'm not patting you on the back, but um, that'll be the, one of the best shots I've ever seen at, at 15, 16 metres. <laughs> We're starting to talk a bit of plaque now. <laughs> but anyway, mate, yeah. awesome experience. Yeah, no, it's pleased to meet you. Good Howard. to meet you. Yeah. Bro. Well, yeah. Awesome, bro. I'll see you next Wednesday when you drop off the venison. All <laughs> cut up. All cut up. Gentlemen, yeah. good meeting you. And we'll see you guys again next time on Hunting Old Aotearoa. There are many vines in our bush, but the one we're here to talk about is the Rata vine. They grow up the full length of the tree circle it and actually strangle it and over a number of years they end up killing the tree and once the tree is dead they actually become food for the vine however our maori people our ancestors actually found another good purpose for this vine Beautiful. But I gotta tell you another secret. Our Māori people also took water from this thing here, the superjack. Now in springtime, it sprouts new branches. And within those branches, you take the skin off and you eat the flesh. We call it the pirita. And it's like eating beautiful watermelon. So next time you're in the bush and you're feeling a bit thirsty, try the old rata vine or the old pirita, because I tell you, it tastes very vine. Oh, killed her. Shooting deer off jet boats up the mighty Motu River. Who would have thought? Many thanks to you, Milton. Learned a lot of you, but I'm sure it was more like a thousand yards there, mate. Anyway, thanks to Warwick, Whanarere, Motu Jets, and Neville. Catch you guys next time on Hunting Aotearoa. Kia ora. Traditionally, Māori only... Only... <laughs> Traditionally, Māori only used to hunt... They used to hunt. <laughs> Dear. So join us next week as we go hunting more. <laughs> Two great hunts in the bag. That's. Hang on a minute. Keep that thought.
Pimmel, Dolpo, Kona, Pimmel, 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 Pimmel,